all right farmers welcome back to the channel so we've got a load more mods for you and first up is this one the berkman carex 370s forage wagon by schnibble modding 15.69 megabyte on the download and you're going to find it as you can imagine under forage wagons so we'll go in and we'll take a look there we are so it starts off with a 37,500 litre capacity you've got some options on the brand of tyres and then wide or standard and then you've got an option to add the silage additive tank now if you do add it it puts the capacity up to 41,500 so that might be a little trick for you if you're going to be using this because you don't have to add the silage additive if you don't want to but if you want a higher capacity one then just have the tank on it very nice indeed so there's no options on the colors it comes as it is and obviously you can change your license plate if you want to so very nice that is nicely detailed obviously you can be using this to get your straw and your grass and your hay up and then dump it all out ready for your animals excellent very nice indeed so that is the Bergman Carex 370S by Schnibble Modding. Now onto this one over here. It's not the Mac on the front. It's this. This is the Ramdon Dumper. It's by Eric Isaac Agro Mods and Lucas Santana. 14.18 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find this in trailers. There we are. So 75 grand to buy. Couple of options on it. 60,000 litre capacity although that doesn't change so you can have if you look on the back there you've got the short mud guard or you can have a long mud guard and you've got wheel design no or hubcaps and hubcaps with air you've got attaches no or trailer hitch so if you want to make a bit of a train out of them you can do decoration lanterns no or yes with those orange lights there between the standard lights and then you've got arching and what that does it tips the whole trailer forward like that which I don't know why you'd want that anyway mind you and then you've got wheel set up you got Brazilian or American so that's just the style of wheels and then you got the main color you can change it to any one of those and then the rim color any one of those and obviously you can change your license plate right so that's the trailer options so we'll jump in here and there is a little thing I want to show you so we'll back it off there we are right so hook it up so the usual LB and left on the D-pad will open the cover if you see there in the options menu if you've got LB and A it's going to lower the front axle of the trailer. You see that? Look at that angle. So we'll raise it up. Lower it down. Right, so that's going to, in real life, shall we say, that's going to add to the traction that your trailer is going to have. So if you've got an empty one, you raise the wheels off then it's less wear and tear on the tires and then if you've got a full load you're going to lower it down so then the weight of your crop that you've got inside is spread out over three axles of the trailer rather than two very nice indeed right so that's the random dumper by eric isaac agro mods and lucas santana right let's move on to the next one right we got this one here the convenient quality disc Farmer 3000. It's a disc harrow. This is by Mert and it's 5.28 megabyte on the download. So you're going to find this, as you can imagine, on the disc harrows. There we are. So 18 grand to buy. There's no options on it. It comes as it is. And as you can see there in the top right hand corner, a cultivator prepares the field for your next sowing. All right. So what you can use this instead of a cultivator so we'll hook it up to this tractor we've got a nice freshly ploughed field there we are 
Right, so we'll pull off, lower the cultivator, and off we go. So that's going to make a nice cultivated seedbed ready for you to start planting or seeding. Obviously, like the normal cultivators, it is going to pull up some rocks, but that's part and parcel of the game in not in 22 sorry yeah that's all right that is oh what is the working width on that three meter working width so nothing too big obviously something for you to be getting on with and it's also going to cost you 18 grand so not too expensive not too big either but yeah, if you want to go down that road, obviously the bigger implement you have on the back, the more expensive the trailer you're going to need to use. So that's very nice indeed. That is the Cavernland Quali Disc Farmer 3000 by Mert. So this is the Gutzler PW640 ASL Master by Eric FS, 9.46 megabyte on the download. And for some reason, the website is saying it's under trailers, but it's not. It's under rollers. So there we are. 20 grand to start with. You've got an option to add flat springs. So if you've just had it as the standard thing, it acts as a cultivator. If you have the flat spring in, it's a cultivator and roller all in one. So that's something you need to bear in mind. You get it done all in one pass. So it's 20 grand to buy the standard one and add three and a half grand to get the roller as well. So that's going to save you quite a bit of money if you go down the road of having a separate roller. So very nice indeed. Obviously it needs 140 horsepower to run, 6.4 meter working width. So not too much horsepower capacity needed. So that's all right, that is. Right. Let's get cracking. So we'll unfold it. Nice smooth animation. Okay. So we'll pull off. Like so. Lower it down. And away we go. So what you'll notice there, it's got a different texture on the seabed. So obviously this was the straight cultivated one. And then this is the rolled seed bed, so it's give, giving you the ridged look to it. So that gives you a better seed bed to start planting it. Excellent. That's all right, that is. Very nice indeed. Right, so that is the Gutler PW640 ASL Master by Eric FS. Right, on to the next one. Right, this is Meridian Storage by the Flying Dutchman. 0.88 megabyte on the download. And there's three options that come with this pack. You go into construction. Like so. You've got the option of a silo. There we are, 23 and a half grand to buy. 60,000 litre capacity. You then got under containers. You've got the container, 60,000 litre capacity, also for 23 and a half grand. And then you've got a, another one there, a stainless steel fertilizer tank, 60,000 litres, 23 and a half grand to buy. Now, there is slight differences with these three. Obviously, the fertilizer tank is only going to take fertilizer, solid fertilizer that is. The container will take most crops but only one at a time. You're gonna need the silo if you want it to act like a normal silo where you can have different types of crops in at any given point. So that's the differences between them. Everything else is the same, same price, same capacity, just what you can put in is what changes. So, it's a silo. If you come here to just buy the ladder, you'll get the re refill silo option so we're clicking there and you got there wheat barley oats canola sorghum sunflower soybean corn seeds tmr lime pig food 
road salt, mineral feed, solid fertiliser and back to wheat. So that's the stuff that you can buy in. So you don't have to load it directly in yourself. You can buy it in like some of the other silos we've already seen in past videos. And you can also change how much you're buying in. So you, I've already got 10,000 litres in this silo already. But you can buy it up to a maximum of 60. But it's 60 as a total. So you can't buy 60 wheat and then 60 barley and 60 oats and so on and so on. You can buy say like 25 wheat and then you can only buy 25 barley if you know what I mean it all, all needs to add up to the 60,000 total capacity right so that's it you can buy it in now what you're also going to need to do it's one of those silos that you're going to need these to go with it now what you're going to need is this one to take it out and this one to put it in You'll need this one to put it in because it's longer and it will go higher. And obviously you're going to need another one to take it out. So we've got it all set off. It did take a while and a lot of fiddling about. But we got there eventually. So we've got ourselves a little trailer here. So you'll do the usual. Line it off underneath the spout. Like so. So it's going to say start filling wheat yes and there we go now there is one thing with this that i will show you so if you get into the vehicles you got there on the options stop filling so we'll wait for it to finish off when you're ready okay got start filling and stop filling so you just need to leave that alone as it is and what we'll do we'll come around here and we'll unload it into the input silo, silo conveyor there we are. we'll call it the, the input conveyor now we'll line it up properly otherwise it's not going to go in is it so we'll line it up back it up to there so you get the overload prompt so there we are so loading straight into there and that's going straight into the silo and this will jump in that vehicle and everything's done excellent it is quite fiddly getting these all lined up so they work nicely now, when you first put the silo down obviously you get this square concrete patch at the bottom and I thought oh you need to get this one to go in here but now it has to come out there for some reason there's no pipe that goes into it from a aesthetic point of view but that's where you need to put it so it is a bit fiddly but once it's set off you're there ready to go excellent that's the meridian storage by the flying dutchman okay on to the next one okay we've got these two here this is the acs weight pack it's by krkz modding 1.83 megabyte on the download and as you can imagine they're going to be under weights so we'll go into the shop and we're down to weights We've got these two here so you've got the case ih version the 1000 it's going to cost you 2100 to buy and we've got the agco 850 it's going to cost you a grand to buy so you've got color options for anything on there that's the 850 kilo agco version and then you've got the case change any color on there and that's the one ton version so only got the options to change the main color and that's pretty much it there's not more else to say about that you got a one ton version or an 850 kilo version so if you need a weight to keep your tractor from tipping off these two will go very nicely for you okay on to this one this is the pitchfork by kxuyls it's 0.71 megabyte on the download and it is a pallet fork but it's a pallet fork with a difference 
So we'll go into the shop first. You're going to find this under miscellaneous. So all the way to the end. There we are. It's two grand to start off with. You can change the color to anything on there. That adds 300 if you want a different color. And that's it. That's the only option on it. But what is different about this is it's got the three point link on the back. So you're not going to be able to hook it up to your usual front loader shenanigans. What you will do, I'll jump in this tractor here. It attaches directly to your front loader, your, your front three point hitch or the rear three point hitch like so so then if you go lb on xbox like me it gives you that option there lower telehandler tool and it will lower it down you slide onto the pallet and then raise it up and then move your pallet to wherever you want it obviously you're not going to be stacking pallets with this because it's attached to your three point hitch so it's one of those more for the maneuvering around your yard situations rather than stacking a vehicle but that being said it's all right that is i mean we can even spin it around and we can put it on the back like so and it'll do exactly the same thing lower it down into your pallet and then raise it up so if that seems like something you could make use of, crack on with it. That's all right, that is. Very nice indeed. So that's the Pitchfork by KXUYLS. Okay, on to the next one. Right, so we have got the Roland Pack by Universe Simu Modding. 86.91 megabyte on the download. And it is all this equipment here. It's a big pack of trailers. So what we'll do, we'll go through each one and I'll show you what they do. So first up, we've got these first four on the left here because they're all the same sort of thing. So we're going to trailers. We've got this one here. So you've got the Ampli Roll 7526. So this is going to be your base roll-on, roll-off chassis. Got a couple of different tyre brands you can make use of. And then on some of them, you've got standard or wide tyres. And then you've got the option there of either Roland attachment capability or IT runner. So for me, that says there's going to be an IT runner option coming out in the future. So we've left it on Roland because that's what we've got today. Now next up you got industrial container, five grand to buy, no options, it is what it is, 45,000 litre capacity. You then got the Roll Rack, Roll Rock, Roll Rock 7100 container, 10 grand to buy, 15,000 litre capacity. And then the Turbo Classic container, seven and a half grand to buy and 36,000 litre capacity. So the question is, so that's 15,000, that's 36, and that's 45, but the 45,000 litre capacity one is the cheapest container. So why would you go with the other two? Anyway, right, so let's show you what you need to do to get this all hooked up. So we'll get the tractor on the front of this bit, like so. Then we'll move it into position on this first one. Like that. Right. So if you hold LB down and then A, extend arm. So that will move the hook back. This LB and A if you're on Xbox. Obviously the options will be different for PC and PlayStation. So then we'll remove it back. Right, we'll remove it back so it actually gets it in line to where it's supposed to go. Like so, so you get the prompt there at the bottom. So we'll attach that. So that's now hooked onto the back of that arm. So you're now going to want to go LB again and retract the arm. 
No, we didn't. There we go. Now we want to go LB in a load container. There we go. So that's pulling it on now. And that's it. So it's all loaded on. It's all hooked up. So if you want to take it off, LB again and drop off container. There we are. And then you're going to want to tab through your vehicle section so it's actually on that hook part. And then detach. No, I've detached the wrong one. There we go. Right, detach that. Move it out of the way. L, B and A and it retracts the arm back into the standard position. There we are, job done. So that's those four things out of the way. Next up, we've got these two trailers here. This is all part of the rolling pack. So we'll go into the shop again under trailers. We've got the roll speed 63.32 and the roll speed 88.51. The 63.32 has got 26 to 32,000 litre capacity so you could change that and then you've got the options on the tyre brands with standard or wide tyres and then you've got the options of additional lights without or with on the back of it options are the same on both apart from the capacity difference so that'll go all the way up to 51,000 there's no color options they are what they are so these are your standard trailers for carrying your crops around very nice indeed all right they are smaller one larger one whatever you're into excellent right so that's them two and we go on to another pairing that we've got here so back into the shop again on the trailers But these two here, the Roll Rock 530, the Roll Rock 5300, and the Roll Rock 7100. So the 5300, it's got 11,000 litre capacity. Same again, you can change it from standard or wide tyres, no colour options on it. And the same for the 7100, different brands, wide or narrows. And then you've got the Roll Link without or the roll link with which doesn't make much sense to be fair but anyway we'll carry on so that's got 15,000 litre capacity so that's those two there for you so obviously smaller than the previous two but then if you're doing animal feed into your barns that's got low roofs you're going to get hooked up on the roof if you use the taller ones. So this could be right up your street. Excellent. Right, on to this lot over here. So first up, we've got these two. Two manure spreaders. So you're going to find these, as you can imagine, under manure spreaders. There we are. We've got the Roll Force 6118 and the Roll Max 8735. So the 6118, the same as the other ones, you've got options on the tyre brands and then whichever tyres that you want to put on them. And then you've got a spreader system, you've got the ESP21 or the TCE, whichever one you fancy. So the ESP21 gives you a 12 metre spread width and the TCE gives you a 16 metre spread width. And if we go on to the roll max, got the same options again. You've got road gauge without, which will put the warning signs on the side, and then spread the system again. So it starts off at 16 meters, and then that will go up to 24 meters if you have the TCE option on the back. 
So if you've got some cows on the go, and you've got some manure or even pigs, you want to go down the road of organic fertilising rather than buying the chemical side, these pair could be for you. Excellent. Right, on to this one. So this is the animal trailer. And as you can imagine, you're going to find this under animal transport. There we are, the Roll Van 64. It will take five cows, eight pigs or ten sheep. Doesn't take horses. Go into it. The only option is to change your license plate. So it is what it is. You open it up. That back bit folds down. You load it up. And away you go. Very nice indeed. If you want to save yourself some money in the long run over having your animals delivered, get yourself one of these. It's all right, that is. Very nice. Right, now on to the last one in this pack. This is a bale trailer. And as you can imagine, this is going to be under bale loaders. Got two options. Got the LSP 90 lsp 904 and then the lsel 10006 basically they're the same they both take 28 bales both take the same size bales the only difference is the 9004 hasn't got the swivel axe on the front rather than the 10006 so i would personally prefer the one without the swivel axle. I'm terrible at reversing them. Just my personal preference. That's entirely up to you. But there is one thing on these. The options are both the same. So you've got wheel brand. You know, you do whatever you want. Standard wide design. Standard is just a flat bed. You've got side straight and curved. Side straight or curved or whatever. And then you've got the option of auto load yep it's an auto load bale trailer now this is just for bales it doesn't work on pallets or it hasn't worked for me shall we say on pallets so we've got some pallets there let's go hook up a tractor right so we've got our tractor hooked up so the options for me on xbox is you've got lb and then you've got operating position there x so we'll press that and it loads them all on we then got LB and Y, it will unload the bales, and then you just need to move them out with the right stick, and then lower them down on the right stick, like that, and then hit Y again, unload bales here, and then it's asking you to reset the trailer, so you hit reset, and it's all ready to go again, operating position, unload the bales, down we go, unload and then reset and that is it that's all you need to do there's no more messing around with having to stack your bales i mean my bale stacking is terrible i'll be the first one to admit that so this is a very nice addition for me i hate bale stacking i'm terrible so that's excellent really good okay so that's it for that pack we just got one more thing to finish off with and it's this Christmas tree by JMZ 2.02 megabyte on the download and as you can imagine it's a Christmas tree very nice indeed got the little presents underneath excellent so you'll find this on the construction menu under decorations under others hundred to buy nice and cheap it's a placeable decoration not much more to say about that Obviously, Christmas is only a couple of days away, so you haven't got your tree in yet. Here we are. This one could be for you. Very nice indeed. That's the Christmas tree by JMZ. So that is it for today. Drop it in the comments which one that's your favourite, and if you're going to be using any of them. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We muchly appreciate it. But for me, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one.